Auto Obsessed here. We're at the 2018 SEMA show, and I'm at the Lake Country booth. I'm here with Scott from Lake Country. He's one of the engineers with Lake Country Manufacturing. Lake Country, we've been uh, selling Lake Country products now almost nine years. Uh, obviously very, very known in the, in the polishing pad manufacturing business. But uh, this year they're, they're introducing something that's quite different for Lake Country. And uh, obviously the two go hand in hand. You said earlier, you know, kind of like the, the uh, razor blade to the, to the, to the razor. So uh, Scott here, you want to just talk to me about what you have? And, I'd be delighted uh, to. Yeah, um, I've been with Lake Country for about 27 years now and Lake Country we're going on 42 years in business and we've sold a lot of pads over the years and attended many shows. So one of the common problems that we kind of picked up on over the years is there seems to be a lot of confusion. People, right. when do I use a rotary? When do I use uh, eight millimeter, six millimeter, 12 millimeter, right. 15 millimeter, right. yeah. 21 millimeter? Yeah. When do I use these different tools? And if I have to buy every tool, I, there's a boatload of money there when you, right. when you add them all up. So the thought process was is to use some of our experience in the field uh, and maybe go outside the box. You know, you heard the, the expression, think outside the box. So we've gone to uh, aerospace, and we've gone into maybe some of the medical field background okay. of using right. some of the engineering. And also, we've, we've been in touch and working with one of the largest engineering firms that have uh, helped along one of the largest names in our industry uh, in tools. Right. And so we feel very confident in our abilities to design and manufacture in-house at Lake Country uh, a, a breakthrough item. Right. And so Excellent. that's kind of where we are with it right now. Right. So maybe show me how, you know, how you change. So you alluded to, you know, you can kind of do uh, all different throws with one machine. With one machine, yeah. correct. And it's just a series of different counterbalances that we have uh, inside the tool. You can you can feel the tool weight-wise. It's yeah. maybe a little heavier a than little the average. A little bit heavier, but solid. It's, solid so, it's a solid tool. Yeah, it's solid. And what typically will happen is, is for example, this would start out at eight millimeter throw here, and how to adjust it, you typically just line up the hash marks, the white hash marks on the ring, make sure that those are in alignment, pull back the unlocking ring this way, and you can see how the orbit starts to change there, yeah. back and forth, if you can see that. So we can go out of eight millimeters, go right into this would be 12 millimeters. You can see how that throw acts that way. Yeah. So if you want even more aggression, line up the hash marks. Make sure the hub is locked on the back. Pull the ring back, rotate it. Let it go click snap into 15 right. millimeters. So you're at 15 millimeters. Yeah, you can see quite the change. So if you still need more aggression, we'll line up the hash marks here again. Make sure you're locked in and go to 21 millimeters. So that would be 21 millimeters. That's what this is right here. Yeah, wow. So then if you want to back off and you need to go right back to where you started from, it's a simple process of lining up the hash marks, pulling back. You can see how we can go right back to the start there. That's how it easily changes from one stroke to the next. Uh, we've determined that backing plates that, um, can matter, so those, those will be designed in different diameters. Okay, right. So we can have, like, say, for example, six inch, five inch, and maybe a three inch okay, right. version. That's, that's so, um, so this machine will do Three inch, five inch, six inch backing plate. That's the that's the future. That's the future. We have, it needs to be engineered. Right. We're not there yet. Okay. But it, it'll be down the road. And then all the throws from an eight mil all the way up to twenty one mil. Correct. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. All in one. All in one machine. All in one machine. So when do you expect that that uh, this will be ready for market? We're looking at about six to eight months. Okay. So we want it to be right. Nice. We've got the horsepower in place. We've got the engineering people right. uh, that we that we have a comfort level with. Right. And our goal is to introduce a machine that solves a real problem right, and yeah. gives the tools into the people that are customers, the people that support us, yeah. and our intentions are to just um, have a tool that's never been seen before yeah. and is a problem solver. Yeah. So a couple key things for me were um, we've got a tool that can can do everything from sanding to cutting to polishing to the final finesse. Correct. You know, from an eight mil to 21. Yes. Um, the backing behind the machine isn't just Lake Country. You've got, you have some uh, huge manufacturers in the tooling business. Correct. And then one of the other big things for me at least is it's actually gonna be in, in your own 
manufacturing in our own facility, facility at home. Here. Right, we want to make yeah. sure that every tool that goes out is plugged in, the trigger's pulled, yeah. it's taken through the paces, we can listen to it. Yeah. One of the engineers that we work with says, well, once in a while you got to put the pencil down and you have to put the thing in your hands and use yeah, it. Exactly. You know, so that's kind of where we are yeah. right now. So yeah. it has to feel good, sound good. Yeah. You know, so that's, uh, it means a lot to us. We take it very seriously. And we were talking earlier and you kind of said that, you know, you want it manufactured where you can, you know, grab, you know, grab a random machine exactly. and just make sure the quality. We need to put our hands on exactly. it. Exactly. That, that, that's, that's critical, right? Before absolutely. it leaves the facility. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. So just by touching and feeling it, yeah, it's, it's an absolute solid machine. Uh, we're quite excited to, to be able to announce when this is available. So keep, keep your eyes on our website. It'll be sometime in 2019. Um, we've, like I said, we've been with Lake Country for many, many years. We know the quality on the pads. I have no doubt speaking, spending some time here with Scott today and his passion with the, with the new machine. I have no doubt that this is going to be something else. Uh, keep, keep your eyes tuned, autoobsessed.com. Thank you for watching.